For this application, we took and removed the uh, furnace and put in the hydraulic air handler to take the place of that furnace. And then we added a evaporator coil on top, which we tied back into an air conditioner outside. Then we installed the tankless water heater to be able to provide the hot water for the hydraulic water heater. And once we did that, we had to tie in the uh, ductwork as well and make sure that it was all sealed and efficient. One good thing about this home was that the existing furnace was a 92 plus furnace. Uh, so it already had PVC venting, which we utilized for the new hot water heater. In the past, I've worked on units that use tank water heaters to um, deliver hot water to the hydronic air handler. With using a tankless water heater to do it, you're not storing all that unused energy in that tank anymore. You're going to get 100% of your energy to your air handler for the demand in your home. Now in this application here, you can see that the water heater is mounted within reasonable distance of the hydronic air handler. That way you don't get thermal loss on the plumbing lines uh, as it's delivering the hot water to the hydronic air handler. Your, uh, the domestic priority switch, what that does is if there is a high demand for domestic water to the faucets or the shower, it will shut down the air handler and allow that water to be distributed to the shower or the faucet. And then once that demand is met, it will kick back to the uh, air handler to heat the home. After installing the system, you have the ability to dial in the system to where it's going to run most comfortable for the customer uh, by controlling the airspeed across the coil, output temperature of your tankless water heater, along with balancing your airflow through the ductwork throughout the house. Also, you can help achieve comfort by controlling the flow rate of the water to the unit. With hydronic furnaces, you have the ability to free up space in your utility room and gain a lot more efficiency out of it because you're going to use less electricity while you're uh, running these systems.